all right, all right, all right. Come on in. Get cozy. Have a seat. Get me your little drinky drink and a snack because welcome back. My name is Carolyn Gray, and if you're new here, usually I post on Tuesdays and Fridays, but it is Vlogmas season. Vlogmas? Vlogma. Vlog. I'm making a Vlogma for Vlogmas. Anyway, and I'm going to try my hand at it this year. So this episode, we're going to talk about holiday gift guides because there's several different personalities that were always around and then when the time comes it's like oh my god what do i get this person so i put together a little list of things that i think would be great ideas for gifts for people that you love are you ready let's go so i compiled a little list of uh him which is you know, if you have a special man in your life that you're dating, a significant other, a them, someone who identifies as masculine, listen, this is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking anything kiff, because they're giving kiffmas this year again. <laughs> Y'all know I love kiff, um, menswear especially. I love their cardigans. Every year around this time, I find myself at the Kif in Soho and I'm wandering around finding cardigans, cute little hats for the guys, um, cool little jewelry pieces and knickknacks, sneakers, all the things you can find. But I really, really love their sweaters, their cardigans, their pullovers, and their jackets. Some of them are pretty pricey, but listen, if that's your range, go for it, darling. I'm sure they will really appreciate it. So definitely one of my spots, my, so definitely one of my stops is Kith. Whether it's the site or in store, I'm going to find something for him in there. Another, um, another gift idea would be Kiehl's. Anything Kiehl's. I feel that, you know, especially like guys who don't really pay attention to their grooming, they really can benefit from a grooming kit. Anything that has some eye cream, a bit of SPF, a little bit of after shaving gel, those types of things in a kit, or some night oil, oh my God. One year I gave Carlos this kit that has a night oil in it from Kiehl's and he was like smelling it, loving it, really appreciating it and he uses it all the time. I think before he was using Pond's Listen, he was raised by his mom and you know that that's 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 what he knew. And he still uses ponds. Nothing wrong with ponds, but I just figure, you know, maybe a little night oil, a little a little retinol in your system. Listen, can't hurt, right? And he loves it. He loves the smell. He loves to feel a little bit more like, ooh, this is bougie. But I'm like, it's self-care, boo. Have your kit. So I think a grooming kit is a1 for the dudes um or anyone that identifies as masculine and then also the third thing that i have on my list for him is from my friend new york pen he is an amazing designer based here in new york and he has a varsity jacket this year that is just whole oh, sweet baby jesus the detail that he puts into his items overall like my favorite sweatpants are from him my favorite sweatshirt that he actually, he, he personalized it for me. It has a noir butt in it. Um, but Justin has an attention to detail that is out of this world. And I feel like his varsity jackets, and they're fairly priced too. The quality, they come in different colors. I just think it's a different thoughtful type of gift, like something unexpected. And I mean, listen, I'm always here to support small owned businesses, black owned businesses, and him, his energy, his light, definitely poured into that varsity jacket it's fly and he has after pack. so next up is the gym buff everyone has a gym rat in their life if it's not yourself then it's someone that you know and listen there's nothing wrong we all can get a little fitness into our systems ain't nothing wrong with that i feel like when i go to the gym i hate going like going and getting prepared to like do the class or the movements and then afterwards i'm feeling so happy and thankful that i did it so for the gym buffs in our life i was thinking a dagny i think it's pronounced dagny dagny dover duffel bag the london duffel bag they come in small i think medium and large I think the medium is a perfect size for a lot of different people it can fit a pair of sneakers um 
body wash, all little knickknacks as well as a jump rope or something like that. I think that it's a cute on the go, very understated, not too much in your face glitz and glam, not too much logo in your face as well. It's a very understated, thoughtful duffel bag. I think it's made with great material. I think it's going to last a very long time. And the way that the pockets and everything are set up is just a smart put together bag. And they have a location in so if you're in New York. It's on, I believe, Lafayette. Yeah, across the street from La Colombe Coffee. So get your coffee fix and then go across the street to Dagny Dover and get you a little duffel bag for your gym buff buddy. Another thing I was thinking for the gym buff. Actually, it's not an item. It's an experience. Recovery session. So, yes, after every workout, you can do your stretch, your steam sauna moment, right? If you have those amenities. But I think anyone that knows a gym buff knows that they plateau in their workouts. So you can be doing the same workouts, you can have certain goals, but then at some point throughout the year, you're gonna feel like you're fizzled out and you need to switch it up to see more results, right? And when that happens, you need to go a little bit further in recovery. And that comes with maybe massage therapy sessions, infrared sauna sessions, IV drip sessions. Every city has something like this, even cryotherapy sessions, which I'm actually licensed to handle, but that's neither here or there. But anyway, but I'm just saying, I think it's thoughtful to plan ahead for your gym buff friend and giving them something that will really recover their body and make sure that they do see the results that they're working so hard to get to. And it's just a nice experience. That little massage, I think it's really cool. You really recover, you get to have a moment of self-care type of thing and you're gifting it so it's really thoughtful. You're thinking in advance for that person. The third thing that is actually really practical and I feel like a lot of people do not think about this and take it from me. I ran an Equinox Club or two or three and one in Bryant Park. And when I tell you, I have stories for you from that experience. And one thing that I really took away from all of that, so, shower shoes, okay? You don't understand what goes down in the shower in the gym. You don't really want to know. But what I do think you want to know is that you want to have protection for your feet when you're in the shower. Yes, there are those gyms and clubs that are cleaning those showers on a regular basis throughout the day after every person. Yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. But here and there, you might skip a one, right? And I remember one time, it was actually a few times. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I'm, I'm not going to tell y'all what gym. I'm not going to tell y'all what location because it's long. It's been long cleaned, okay? But someone had doo-dooed in the shower. And they left it there. I don't know what that's about, okay? I don't know why. Why they did it. We tried to say, hey, sir, ma'am, do you know that you can't do that here? Do you have any uh, medical conditions that we should know about so we can help assist you through these spaces? And it was denied that they even do it in the shower, but they do do it in the shower. So I'm just saying, you might want to get your friend who's a gym buff some shower shoes, something that's cozy, something that they could pat, pat to dry at the end of their session and just make sure they take care of their feet, okay? Yeah, shower shoes, because people do do in the showers at the gyms. It's a thing, whether you like it or not. Many other things is a thing to do in the shower, and it's gross, so one less thing to worry about. Okay, moving on to the next profile person. What do you get your techie friend? You know, your friend that loves gadgets and gizmos and things and all the digital age things. I was thinking a few different things. So I have recently experienced being gifted the AirPod Max. And to be honest, I had shopped them a couple of times and I was nervous because I'm like, dang, like all this money for a pair of headphones that are like on your head and you can't hear anything with them on. And I just feel like being a woman in New York City and I'm walking everywhere, first of all, I wanna make sure that I can hear my own footsteps so I can hear someone else's footsteps running up behind me, right? The other thing is, is like, the only the only downside to this is like, maybe it's not, maybe it's New York, or certain places that are kind of similar, but when you have a headset, I'm just like, Someone can snatch this off me on the train and run, but I wear a hoodie every time I wear my headset. Those AirPod Max though, 
Oh my God, they're so amazing. They have noise cancellation and then you can turn on the noise can the noise if you want to hear it. So for me, it's perfect because I can hear everything around me because I don't turn on the noise cancellation. I love the fact that I have that option. And also when I'm doing my YouTube videos or anything on the computer, I just connect those bad boys and Carlos is in the same room and I can't hear anything else. And y'all, if you follow me on social media, you also know that the dog park is right outside side of my apartment window and they love to talk you know the dog the furry babies they love to talk and chit chat and all the, th all the things but I really get annoyed when I'm trying to listen to one thing and I'm hearing several other noises right especially if it's sporadic so I just think if someone loves tech and they're always in their computer and they're always in their phone those air max pros the the air the airpod max <laughs> excuse me they're perfect for noise cancellation and to really just get into the whole experience of whatever that you're looking at and listening to lovely 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 and they feel like they just suction into your head and they can extend and they have a mesh band as well that I just feel like it's a perfect fit okay that's a long spiel on those bad boys the next thing that's on my list um Sorry, I had to look at my computer because I have everything right in front of me. Another gizmo gadget that's really perfect for techie people that are always in front of their computers are glasses with blue light protection. And I found some cute ones from Quay. I think it's called Quay. They're Australian based, but they have so many different pairs because if you go on like Amazon, no shade, um, no shade, just putting it out there. They're just really simple reading looking glasses that you can get from like Walgreens or something like that. I don't know. But on Quay.com, the girls will give you different frames, different colors, different material. I was like, oh, okay. I want some of these and they're really, really priced well. Like I saw a pair for $35. So definitely get your friend who's always on their tech vibes some blue light glasses and the third thing i was thinking about for techie people would be an organizer from cowpack to put all their cords their chargers anything that they like have to carry on for attachments to their things in that i have one i love it i put all my my little um sd cards my my chargers, my extra charge, my backup charge, everything fits in there and it just has all these little compartments in them that you can tie up the little cords and roll them up and put them in there and they sit perfectly. Just super cute and greatly priced as well. So the next category is for that fashionista and with New Year's coming up and all these other holiday parties could be an early Christmas gift. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best in saying the name of this brand because it was a little difficult when I was practicing earlier but I was thinking the crystal bags from that brand called Benedetta Ben Bendet Ben Benedetta Bougies one day I'm going to work with that brand and I'm going to be able to be on a call with them and I'm going to tell them help me pronounce your brand name because I don't want to be that girl I don't want to be that girl who doesn't know how to pronounce the brands respectfully because I want you to say my name right. So I want to say your name right. But yes, but Benedetta Bucci. Mm -hmm. Yes, beautiful bags, beautiful bags, crystal, everything, just the hardware on them as well. And the weird thing is, is like they're, sim they're simple. Like the structure of the bag is very simple, super clean cut, but the colors of the crystals are just so magical. And I think that with any outfit, not just a holiday outfit, but a simple all black look, it's a thing. It's a vibe. She's going to, she, he, they, they're going to appreciate that fashionista moment, okay? The other item on my list, which is another brand and I'm hoping I'm pronouncing right, is like a catch-all or an ashtray from the brand called Fornas um, Fornasetti. Fornasetti right they have all these different plates and like vases and scented candles with these cool looking faces all over them and I just feel like that's such a 
cute little touch. You know, it's a thoughtful gift too. Because listen, I not today, but I have so many different rings and necklaces. That I could put something like that on my bedside and I could just put it there or on my desk where I'm working. And it could just hold all my little knickknacks and lip glosses in there and it'd be a cute little vibe, right? So that was one idea that I had. Another idea that I have for a fashionista moment is... And it, this is enough, this is, a, listen, I'm a practical person. I'm a Virgo, whether you like it or not. Yes, we're a little off, but we just want the greater good for all. I was also thinking for a fashion, he said, this is a very practical gift, not like, oh my God, you thought of this to get, it's not one of those things, but it's something that she, he, they will use. Shoe shapers. I mean, most of the fashionistas have these pack systems, right? And all I'm saying is, when you have these long shafted boots, you're gonna need some shoe shapers because look what happens when they don't have anything. They just fall side to the side. You know what I'm saying? But you get these little bad boys. I found some from the container store. Listen, everything that I'm talking about today, I'm linking everything below so it's easy for you to find and have some options. But look, she's standing straight up. No problem, okay? But that is something that a lot of people know that they need to have, but they don't have. And it's a cool gift to give them because it's like, oh, you have so many boots or you have Oxfords or different shoes that you could put the shoe trees in. But like get them something to shape their shoes and to make sure that they feel good or maybe even some shoe boxes, some organization units for them. Right. But head to the container store and get you some shoe shapers for your fashionista. OK, the next profile is. I mean, listen, the last few years, there has been a major boom of business owners on the rise, new business owners, people that are entrepreneurs doing their own thing, creating their own businesses and spaces. So I thought of a really good idea considering I didn't have it for my papa. It was late as hell, y'all. Is a like pay, like a tap card moment. It's like an Apple tap card receiver and it's like a little box. They come in different sizes. It could be a whole POS system or it could just connect to their phone. They check out the person with whatever with, with whatever product or service that they offer. And then they just tap their little card and they take the payment and they're good to go. It's something that is one of those things that when you get to a place you realize as a business owner, like, dang, like I could have used one of those. I need that. And it's really helpful. It's Listen, if you get your friend that's a business owner that type of gift, it's more than you know to the heart. Another thing I was thinking of, you know how I love NH Events planners. Every business owner you know needs a planner. Besides me having their meetings, scheduling their social media content for their brands, um, putting together lists for themselves, every business owner needs a planner. So. You know how I feel. NH Events offers some really great, beautiful, aesthetically pleasing planners, desk planners, and dotted notebooks so they could just sketch out all their ideas for whatever they have ahead for their business. And this is going to be another very practical, but Lord, do you not understand? Business owners forget to eat and drink water. Hear me out. Hear me out. If you get your business friend, business owner friend, a subscription to water that can deliver to wherever their office or home office is to ensure that they get their daily dose of water. Thank me later. You will be that you will be the best gift giver there is giving someone a yearly subscription to deliver water or even like a gift card to Uber Eats or something like we do not eat. We barely drink water. And then we wonder why we burn out fast. Get your friend some water. I'm not joking. It is the most practical thing and most simple thing. But in a year from now, your friend's going to come to you and say, I have never been so hydrated in my life and stressed out at the same time over my business. But I, can, I cannot thank you enough for making sure that I'm hydrated. Okay. Just saying. Just saying. Simple, but <laughs> highly effective. I have two more categories. The home body. Now, most of us have become super introverted. I am both introverted and highly extroverted when I'm outside. But most of the time, I really want to stay home. And I was thinking, my favorite item at home is this blanket from a, par a Paris? A Paris? It's a furry, fuzzy blanket 
vegan faux fur but it is a little weighted super soft to touch and machine washable and it comes in so many colors it is a dope blanket it's very it's very bougie okay it, it gives you that moment and honestly it's just so cozy so if you have someone in your life that's a super homebody and loves to stay home and like cuddle up under the cover and like blast the ac or something like that or keep the windows open get them a blanket from that company it's very posh very thoughtful and basically it's like your forever hug to them whenever they put that blanket on them you're hugging them just tell them it's your hug it's your hug gifted in gifted form another item i think that would be really cool for home bodies are like glass tumblers with the little tops and straws my favorite ones are from amazon and honestly it's one of those things like it's just the aesthetic every time i make my green matcha lattes in one of these i just feel like really special i don't know what it is about glass tumblers at home but these are really chic very easy going i think anyone would relate to having like you know to the aesthetic and it's just thoughtful and the straws are really cute and it comes with a brush to clean them because you know you can't use these reusable brushes without i mean straws without the brushes to wash them with you can't just scrub the outside and think everything is fine have you ever had a metal straw and put a little piece of um, paper towel in it after you use them it gets gooky in there and if you if, if i come to your house and you have reusable straws and you offer me a drink with that straw and i don't see none of them brushes in your drawer to clean them with don't give me the straw okay just don't that's nasty that's nasty friend don't do that. All right. And now, obviously, a homebody is going to love candles galore. Y'all know how I feel about candles. My girls, I got two girls on, on my friendship circles that make candles and have a nose from out of this world. You got Socorro Rose candles. And then you have Lit Brooklyn candles. RN and Home from Lit Brooklyn. Oh, my God. And then, another, oh, baby Jesus, right now, Boomerang is the candle of the month for Sakura Rose. You won't be disappointed. And she has room sprays, too. So anything that has to do with aromatherapy within a household, get them some candles, okay? And one other candle that I'm really loving right now that is actually the fragrance that I'm loving to wear right now is uh, the Replica Fragrance um by the fireplace by margella mesa margella franker i can't freaking talk today jesus lord be a beacon be a fence help me out <sighs> the replica <laughs> fragrances by Maison Margiela. They make a candle called by the fireplace and it is just scrumptious so to give that like holiday air that particular one highly highly recommend highly recommend and finally what do you get your parents your best tom give them your best no i'm joking i'm not but i am it is hard to find gifts for parents these days because it's like how do you give someone that gave you life like there is no gift that is measurable first of all you brought me here without asking and i didn't want to pay all these bills i digress but what do you get the people who have supplied life guidance and just abundant love hopefully you know not everyone is blessed and might I just say this really quickly the holidays could be a very hard time for a lot of people for very different reasons and I'm I don't want to say these categories without you know making sure that I tap into this sensitive area where we may not have these different types of profiles in our life right but we might have people who feel different things and i just want to be able to provide different gift ideas for the people that do give us love and um and light in our lives so i don't want to just say parents and not say that listen if you don't have your parents, and i feel like i'm about to get emotional because i know that there's a lot of people in this world that don't have their parents I luckily have my parents. I love them to death. I'm very close to my parents. So for those of you that do not have your parents in your life, obviously my heart goes out to y'all and I know nothing 
about what that feels like. So the only thing that I can say is I give you love and light within this moment, if this is your experience, and that I hope that maybe create a shrine in their honor this year. Um, maybe still get them a gift under the tree or visit their grave site or if they have an urn, you know, bless their urn, say a prayer around it. Whatever you believe in, whatever makes you feel comfortable, do whatever makes you feel love and light in these moments because it can be really rough seasons for a lot of people. So just want to put that out there because, you know, I love y'all. Y'all my community. Anyway, what I was thinking, if I had all the money in the world, <laughs> Which I wish I would one day one day. I'm gonna have all all the ability to gift how I want to right, but I was thinking for parents Parents are like retiring at this point like they're at home. They're just enjoying their spaces a Dyson vacuum I'm telling you if you get them a Dyson vacuum or air purifier from Dyson oh, And if it's multiple of y'all if it's like y'all have siblings, you're gonna be the favorite I'm just saying and you probably are because you're watching this and you're trying to make sure that you have your ducks in a row. You're probably the favorite already because you got your together, right? So a Dyson vacuum, child boo. They're going to be like, what's this? And then once they figure out how to use it, because you know sometimes it takes a while for the parental units to figure out the digital stuff, the techie stuff. They're going to be like, oh my God, this is amazing. They're going to vacuum the walls, literally, with that thing. And if it has a laser on it, Comment below and let me know if you know about that because it's a blessing to have. The other thing, it's a practical thing, but it's like, it is what it is. If you know that when you go into your parents' house and they're going to ask you to do something like fix the curtains or fix this thing that's too technical, logically advanced for them that they can't figure out, you know that they have things that you, that they're going to ask you to do. Do it before they ask you. Do it before they ask you. Walk into the house and say, hey mom, I already fixed the ring. It's okay, it's working now. And it's downloaded to your phone. Hey dad, don't worry about the dishwasher. I already got y'all one. It's on the way. You don't even have to worry about putting it in. I got a task rabbit for you dad. Don't worry about that. Do something for them that you know they're gonna ask for help with before they can even ask you. You know your parents, you know your parental unit, you know um, whoever your guardians are. Do something in advance for them before they can even ask. And then put a red bow on it. And then the final thing, I'm like, you know, what could you gift your guardians? Like, what else could you do? Book them a round trip ticket to somewhere fabulous, somewhere that they've been wanting to go. Um, and put a bow on that plane ticket or get sent them the email and put a, a bow on their phone as they're opening it. I think that would be a really special moment because I feel like, a lot of times people, you know, they get to this stage in life where, you know, they're really just happy with seeing you guys and seeing family come over and whatnot. But I'm also like, well, what about seeing the world in some way? I wish that I could buy my parents bunches and bunches of round trip tickets to everywhere in the world so they could see it, you know, in person and experience all the things. And um, I feel like that's a really special gift because... You want them to see the world. Telling someone, I want I want you to see and experience the world in your own way. Here's a ticket. Here you go. That's a really special gift. Um, and even better if you can go with them. But if not, and if, you know, if they're fortunate to have a significant other, um, book them a ticket. Simple and plain. But other than that, I think, you know, it's hard gifting people. If you have a roof over your head and you have a full belly, um, you're blessed, you are wealthy, you have things that a lot of people in other parts of the world and other parts of the country can't say that they have, right? Um, and I think that sometimes it's hard to gift one another when it feels like we all have so much already. Um, and, and it's not just material form. I think that sometimes to think outside the box and say, you know, I could get them this item, but I can also gift an experience. Um, and I love gifting. I think gifting is my love language. I think that it can come in so many different formats. Um, but really why gifting is my love language is because it shows how deeply a person thinks about you and your life and how you run it and how you do things. And listen, comment below if you agree. The thought behind a gift is everything to me. It makes me realize that you thought about me and 
my day to day or something that you know I could use or something that you know I would appreciate so much. Um, it, it just says a lot about the love that you have for someone that you can take the time to sit and think about what that person would really enjoy to get from you. So once again, happy holidays. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this list. Tell me what's on your wish list for this holiday. Tell me something about what you're struggling to gift to someone else um, and maybe where to find it, right, at a good price. I'm all about that. Y'all know I love when y'all comment below and we get a little, little banter rolling in and out. But don't forget to click subscribe, like, share with your friends, and I will see y'all. I don't know. I'm trying to do as many of these as I can. I have several ideas, right? So definitely Friday, but maybe sooner than that. Woo, we don't know. We shall see. But thanks for tuning in and staying this long. Bless your hearts. I'll see you later. Bye.